remember, we had this little jab right here. It looks like there's only one baby out so far. We're gonna try something new right now. Come on, Verde, you ready? You ready, Verde? Look at this, look at this. Let's keep moving and see what we get. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have quite a few things going on here. I was gone for a couple days. We have things hatching. We have two really cool clutches that we're gonna be cutting here in a little bit later in the vlog. Uh, but I wanna jump into a couple animals that hatched out that are, who doggy, pretty crazy. That's right. We actually had that lorry ball to lorry ball clutch. Remember, we actually cut it. Look at all these absolutely gorgeous lorry balls. There's actually, let's see, two beautiful lorry balls right here. And then we have two just normal ball pythons. But if you remember, we had this little jab right here. Look at that. Oh, uh, would you look at that? Of course, that is a super lorry ball. Unbelievable. That thing is a ripper. Absolutely gorgeous. I tell you, what, I love that animal. And that's always a great way to come back from a trip, right? It's to see a bunch of really cool animals. One of the first things I was super excited about as soon as I got home was to run into the incubator and see what hatched out. And that's right, we hatched out some good ones. Now, this was that chocolate pinstripe that was bred to the mahogany. I was really surprised to see that chocolate mahogany, although completely different co dominant animals and produce completely different things seem to somehow be allelic to one another where some way it actually mixes together and produces basically a super version. We see the same thing with Mojave and Lesser, Black Pastel and Cinnamon Pastel. These happen to be just chocolate pinstripes but absolutely gorgeous ones. And then we have a bunch of other really dark animals here that are a combination of either chocolate or mahogany. I think that this one here is actually a mahogany. I think the second one here is also a mahogany and then I think that this one is a chocolate but I gotta be honest with you it's pretty pretty rough because chocolates and mahoganies do look really similar. Typically the mahoganies are a little bit busier pattern. So uh, it's hard to say. Again, maybe one chocolate, two mahoganies. But then these two hatched out right here, which is the combination of the chocolate and the mahogany and of course pinstripe. Now what's interesting about these is that these look a lot like camo ball pythons. You guys know that I've been trying to produce the banana camo just like this one. But what's interesting is that the camos are a little more brown, whereas these guys are almost blackish looking. So they're like a camo ball python, but they're actually, instead of being a super chocolate pinstripe, they're a chocolate mahogany pinstripe. And I think they're actually darker than the camels, like I said, so they are absolutely rippers. So I was super excited about those. Cannot wait to hopefully one day hit one of those in a banana because that's gonna be crazy. Oh, I wanna show you this clutch really quick. This is actually a desert Woma ball python that is bred to a pinstripe and there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, first off, we just have a bunch of pinstripes here. I think we got three normal pinstripes, which is fine. That's a great little incomplete dominant animal I love. We've got a couple Woma pinstripes. So again, this is the Woma and the pinstripe mixed together. Ironically enough, we have a little normal ball python here. And then we have a couple really cool animals. I love this. This is actually a desert pinstripe. And that desert gene is unbelievably amazing. Now the downside I've told you guys before, females can't reproduce. So any female deserts we only sell as pets. Uh, you don't want to ever breed them because believe it or not, they can actually perish when they're full of eggs. So you never want to breed a female desert. And then this one is absolutely amazing. This is the pinstripe Woma and it's also the desert. So wow, that thing is gorgeous. But again, if any females we produce, we sell as pets only. They're absolutely gorgeous animals, but you never want to breed those. But I actually am going to be cutting a couple really cool clutches of eggs here a little bit later in the vlog. And then we have to head over because Mary told me that a rough scale Sambo is just having a couple babies. So let's go ahead, check on that. And then we'll come back, look at some more of this cousin eggs later in the vlog. It's going to be a great day. Let's go do this. Again, Mary said that she saw a little baby and I see one right over here. Looks like mama's not quite done yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see what we have. Oh, mama, it's okay. I'll put this down over here, see what else we have. And then hopefully mama will lay. I think that there's at least one baby in here. Let's see if we got any other ones. It's okay, mama. I don't wanna disturb her too much. Looks like there's only one baby out so far. So again, just one little baby out so far. So we'll go ahead and let mama go and hopefully she'll have a whole bunch of babies here in the next uh, six or eight hours. We'll have to see what happens, but, but this baby is absolutely gorgeous. There's a second baby somewhere. There is. I don't see it. Again, I don't want to mess with mama too much, but 
Let's just keep it. Oh, there it is. There's the second baby. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, yep. I was totally wrong there. So now we have two little baby Samboas over here. So again, it looks like she has a couple more babies in her. So we're just going to go ahead and shut her up. Uh, we'll check on her later and hopefully she'll have some more babies. But as for now, two cute little baby Rusko Samboas. We got a couple little cute little baby geckos that just hatched out. The first one here is this cute little baby cave gecko. Oh, look at you, little monkey. Oh my gosh, that thing is so absolutely adorable. I love that we're hatching a bunch of these guys out. The funny thing is, is that we hardly ever sell them. I'm not sure if we're just keeping them all or if eventually we're gonna sell some. For now, we just keep on raising them up to continue to grow our group. I love them to death. Oh my God, that is so cute. But this next one, whoo, look at that. This next one, I'm pretty excited about, you know. Again, it's not like a super uncommon animal, but these two here, I thought there was only one, but there's two. And again, they always lay in pairs. Anyways, oh, look at, oh, come on, little bunky, come on. Oh, there you go, there you go. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. These two here, oh, it's okay. I'm gonna put it back, I'm gonna put it back. Oh my gosh, these two here are the first crescent geckos that BHB has hatched out. Again, Mary and Eric have hatched them out before, but these are the first that we've hatched them. So how cute is that? They're absolutely adorable. You can see this one still has some shed on it. That shed will come off and they'll actually eat the shed here in the next hour or so, but they look absolutely gorgeous. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm gonna say these are Halloween Harlequins. I'm probably wrong, but nevertheless, they're absolutely beautiful. And I'm excited that we finally have some crested geckos. This will be perfect as we're growing out the Rackadaclus room over in the basement under the reptarium. For sure, dude. You know what? Yeah, dude. What's up, dude? My phone, that's real fast. We just gotta do a little piece. I'm eating. Do you want that pickle? Dude, I'm sorry. Don't you even think about my pickle. I'm busy. Dude, I slept on a chip. That's my chip. Dude, you threw it at me. No, that's my chip. There's a hair on it. Oh my God. There's a hair on it. Where'd you get that from, bud? Mr. Pita! Dude, I've never had it, man. Let me just hit it real quick. No, please don't. <laughs> Get away. Go. Sorry, that was my bad of days. Um, oh. but do you have anything like extra? Or from yesterday? I'm oh. hungry. I'm hungry. All right. I'm busy. Go. You know what? Can't win them all. Oh, bad stuff. It's a salad! I didn't even no one wants a freaking salad. You go to McDonald's and get cheeseburgers. No, What's wrong McDonald's. with you? Yeah, I got a salad from McDonald's. Do they put oh, chunks of beef on it? I don't there's understand. chicken on it. That doesn't make sense. There's chicken on it. Why do you have, you know, just because it's not a cheeseburger for you to steal? It's a shame. What, oh, I was, we're working. Doing? We're working. Mopping. Look at this guy, man. You want to feel him? Feel him. Oh, my God. Feel him. Oh, no way! Oh my God. No way! That's crazy. It's freaking crushed. So just let me ask you something. That's Noah crazy. is gearing up actually to head out to LA. He's gonna be phasing up, right? You're gonna oh, be yeah. hanging with the phase, phase clan. That's what they say. This is the phase symbol. Phase up. It's phase not a up. gang. That's right. Is that the, is that what this? Uh, you're gonna wear this? Or are you gonna? No, no, no. No, not this that? is this is more of just a. Casual? Casual, casual. All right, gotcha. Casual. So what are you gonna do? He's gonna be gone for like a Dude, week. Dude, I know. LA. He ain't coming back, probably. Oh my no, god, I'll come back. go out there, come back. be rich I'll and famous. Back. Yeah, I know. And He's I'll gonna move in with the Phase Boys. Dude, I'll, I'll be on the street, old house. Just panhandling. I'll be like, I used to have it all. I used to. <laughs> 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 but seriously, uh, definitely keep an eye on Noah's stuff because he's heading out to California. Good to be hanging out. A bunch of really cool people, so that'll be good. And me and Erica, we're gonna be cleaning snake poop and stuff yep, like that over here. So favorite. we're living the dream, man. Yeah, that's right. Living the dream. Living the dream. But, right. uh, but definitely uh, check it out because it's going to be a good time for him. This is going to be pretty awesome. Of course, Verde, my green anaconda, and the fact that you guys know she was eating live chick and I was choo-choo trainer. Then I put a rat in there and she ended up, you know, taking it just like overnight. Well, guess what? We're going to try something new right now. Come on, Verde. You ready? You ready, Verde? Look at this. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> she took a rat, that's right. Last time I did the same thing, I wanted to share it with you. This time I was hoping she was going to, but she is literally starting to take rats out of my hand. Oh my gosh, Verde, you're gonna be big too. It's gonna be just as big as his sister over there on the other side, but oh my God, I am so excited. Verde is eating like crazy. She's gonna get big now, so I am super stoked. And I wanted to share that with you guys.
Got this cool little package and I wanted to share with you guys and I wanted preference by saying this is not a brand deal. I'm not getting paid. This is just something that someone sent me that I think is really cool. These are called easy hatch trays and it's just like an egg tray. You guys know that I use hatch right. I put it in the bottom of a shoe box and then I put the eggs right in it. These are actually molded just for the eggs and you can see these little ventilation slots mean that you can use any kind of medium. You could literally put water in the bottom and actually put this on top and then the eggs are right here and the water would keep the humidity up but the eggs wouldn't get wet because they're sitting on this thing. It's really cool. Again, you can use vermiculite, you can use hatchrite, perlite, whatever you can do. You put these in here and then this tray literally puts the eggs, which is cool. And you can have up to 10 eggs in a shoebox this size. Again, I just love it when people come up with really cool ideas. This is really cool. Again, uh, not a paid endorsement. So I'll put the link in the description anyways to easyhatchtrays.com. Uh, really cool. Thanks for sending these guys. I definitely think I'll use these next year. A couple quick clutches that I gotta cut because they are absolutely amazing. This is actually a fire yellow belly female bread to two males a mojave calico bee which didn't father a couple clutches so it may or may not be the thing and it's also bred to a dragonfly which is a pastel a fire and a pinstripe so i don't know who the father is until we cut into it but either way it's going to be absolutely amazing of course if the dragonfly is the father we might get some black eyed lucies because there'll be fire on both sides and guess what right off the rip we've got a black eyed leucistic that is amazing i love the black eyed leucistic stuff i love the blue eyed leucistic stuff but for whatever reason the black eyes i just think are a little bit cooler so we hit that so we know the dragonfly is the father for at least that clutch so let's go ahead cut number two and see what else we have because we could have all kinds of cool combinations and remember it could also be a dual father clutch Ooh, this is really pretty right here this looks like it's probably a dragonfly yellow belly which is really cool because it's one one more gene that kind of brightens things up so that's really cool so again dragonfly is the father of that one he'll probably be the father for the whole clutch to be honest with you this looks like actually a fire pinstripe doesn't look like there's any other genes than that one let's go ahead and move on i tell you what how awesome is that i love that we actually produce a little lucy baby that's super cool uh looks like this is just a fireball python doesn't look like it's anything else just a single gene animal let's keep moving on i you know i hope that that mojave calico bee produces something this year it's such a pretty snake i gotta be honest with you okay this is actually a fire pinstripe yellow belly again we produced a couple of these earlier in the year really cool cool combination animals look really beautiful moving on to the next egg i hope we get another lucy i don't know there's just something about producing leucistics that is amazing okay what do we have here gotta just move this little bugger around oh, okay again same thing fire pinstripe yellow belly three more eggs in this clutch let's see what we got going on oh my god it's absolutely amazing i love cutting snakes i'm so glad to be back having fun with this okay this is interesting. Okay, no, it makes sense. Okay, this again is a dragonfly yellow belly. So again, it's pastel, it's pinstripe, it's fire, and it's yellow belly. So basically, this is the all gene animal without the fire because if you get the double fire, you can actually get the black eyed leucistic. Interestingly enough, that black eyed leucistic probably has other genes in it. And you can put it under a black light and see the pattern. So it's probably got pinstripe, it might have yellow belly, so on like that. Decided to actually take the eggs down and see if we can actually put a black light to it. I've never actually done this before in the egg. So usually, I wait till they hatch but sure enough I'm gonna go ahead and just put this right on top of here you can actually see a little bit of the pinstripe pattern again this was a dragonfly meaning that the male had pinstripe in it and you can barely see some pinstripe patterning so that's what's amazing is that this animal is pure white but under a black light you can still see a little bit of the pattern this is the first time I've done this with an egg that is awesome that animal we just cut is all the genes minus the fire on the one side so that it's not a leucistic okay it looks like we have another little fire here don't think it's anything else could possibly be a firefly pastel we'll see when it actually hatches out last egg come on give me something amazing here come on come on come on come on and what do we have what do we have what do we have this little bugger is upside down so i can't actually see what it is looks like it's got a little bit of pattern to it it's really pretty whatever it is come on move for me little monkey it looks to me like this might be another dragonfly yellow belly. Hard to say. It's a little flipped up, dies down. So uh, that's it for this clutch. One more clutch to go. This is kind of an interesting clutch here. This is a cinna winner, which is a cinnamon, a pinstripe, and a woma. And it's bred to two males, a pastel entry banana. But then it's also bred to a banana pewter. Interestingly enough, if the pewter banana is the male, we could actually get all kinds of stuff. But we could get a banana super cinny, which is kind of like an all purple snake. Let's see what happens. We'll find out who the dad is here in one second. 
this first egg hopefully will tell us what it is. Not 100% sure, but it could be. Okay, well, right off the rip. It looks like it's probably a pastel cinnamon banana pinstripe. So I'm not 100% sure. It didn't really tell us who the dad was in this one, to be honest with you. Nevertheless, a really beautiful animal. Love it, very, very beautiful. Let's see if the second animal will give us an idea. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Well, no, nah, it didn't again, did it? Okay, so this looks like it's probably a pewter banana. So that would be a pastel, it'd be a banana, and it'd be a cinnamon. So again, either father could be the clutch. We haven't hit any Enchi stuff, we haven't hit any super stuff, so we don't really know yet who the daddy is. Let's keep moving and seeing what we get. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? So I think we definitely found out that the pewter is the dad. Now, it's not actually a banana, unfortunately. So what we hit here is actually a, I don't even know, maybe it's a silver streak or something of the sorts. I think it's actually the silver streak. We didn't hit the super cine banana yet, but we know that that's a possibility because it looks like he was the daddy, which is pretty freaking cool. Okay, we have, uh, ooh, what do we have here? Okay, it looks like this is just a cinnamon. It's a really cool pattern cinnamon, but it doesn't look like there's anything else going on there. Possi I don't know if there's anything else, so we'll see what happens there. We still have four eggs to go. Now we know we could potentially hit that banana super cine. I'm pretty darn excited. Okay, looks like we just have a Woma pinstripe here, which again is the cinnamon and the pinstripe and all that type of stuff that's going on. Got three eggs, come on, let's hit something amazing. I'm super pumped about this, but there's so many genes going on that it's gonna be hard to hit right now. So it looks like, again, this looks like a banana, pinstripe, cinnamon, possibly Woma as well. So this is basically the Cinna winner banana is what this basically is, which is pretty cool. But we've got two more eggs. We still haven't hit the super Cinny stuff. And we know that that's a possibility. Oh my gosh, please let me hit it. I'd just be so excited. Okay, this is oh, it's a really beautiful animal here. This looks like a banana Cinny Woma which I've never produced before. So that's the first time I've produced that animal. Looks really awesome. Can't wait till it gets out there. One last egg, guys. Come on, fingers crossed. Send that positive energy. Send that positive energy. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on, little monkey. Come on, little monkey. Ah. Uh, you know, still a really beautiful snake. This is actually a pewter banana. Unbelievable, but we missed out <laughs> for what I really wanted to get. Still absolutely amazing. I mean, some really beautiful, beautiful snakes. I love the Cindy and the banana stuff, so we have a combination of all kinds of stuff. Couldn't be happier, other than the fact that if we would have produced that banana super Cindy. Regardless, that's it for egg cutting. It's awesome to be back and see all those new baby snakes and cut some snake eggs. I mean, what a great thing. I love being back here at the Reptarium and at BHB. If you enjoyed this, check this other egg cutting video out the entire playlist of egg cutting go over here and subscribe turn those post notifications on me have a wonderful day be kind to someone and i promise i'm going to see you guys tomorrow <laughs>